welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to review the newly launched android 11 update for the moto g 5g so the ot update is out for everyone to download and install so i'm going to let you know what has changed and what can you expect so right now you can see the notification style has changed you can see um, you will be able to see the notifications in three categories the conversations or the silent notifications separately right now i'm in dark theme so in light theme you can see it looks like this it has not changed a lot from android 10 but the aesthetics has changed a lot the icons style has changed and it's very similar to android 10 so don't expect a very major overhaul and um, the good thing you can see right now is the interactive wallpapers and uh, this was really due from a lot of time like a lot of the android motorola phones were having this uh, wallpaper by default but now we also have this now with this update you can see this one it was in the moto one fusion and uh, it's an interactive wallpaper so it, it's not always running when you touch it then only it starts moving so i mean it can help in saving the battery because the live, live wallpapers does tend to uh, use up a little bit of battery so coming to the battery life i have not like uh, seen any drastic changes uh, i'm still g getting a decent amount of screen on time so eight hours nine hours average so if i show you through some screenshots you can see i'm not really gaming these days so i'm not considering that but i'm easily getting nine to ten hours of screen on time average so no like decrease in battery life or something like that so that is good so going to the settings not a lot of change uh, like uh, things have changed this is the network and uh, internet and the wi-fi is working pretty fine and uh, 5 gigahertz 2.5 gigahertz no issue we have the apps and notifications and in android 11 you can use bubbles so if you go to the settings there's an option to if the app supports it you can use them uh, as a floating window and you also have the notification history when you enable it it will take some time but it will look something like this all the notifications that you get on your phone will be shown there you have all these other options as well to snooze notification or the swipe your fingerprint sensor for notification so th these options were there in android 10 as well you can see this is how the conversations appear and when you type that icon you can go into the bubble so you have this overlay so you can easily chat and multitask and just swipe down to disable the bubble so it works in telegram messages and other applications so whatsapp still does not support it so yeah that was the notification bubble this is how the recents look there this is much bigger and you do not see the apps recent apps in the bottom section you have it's replaced by this screenshot icon so it's much easier to take screenshots and when you edit you have some new options like adding this colorful text overlay and also you can blur certain parts of it so you can add mosaic to certain parts of the photo you do not want to uh, appear so this is very handy when you're sharing screenshots So in the sound and notification you have this new option called uh, vibrate for calls the whenever you the call is connected or disconnected you can um, you will get a certain haptic feedback so that has been added other than that it's very similar many have complained that multi volume is not working but it's working i have tested it so no issues there in the privacy options it's not different this is the location
and the accessibility i've noticed a uh, hearing aid section i don't know if it, it was in the android 10 or not but you can add your hearing aids so if it's useful for someone and uh, they can really make use of it this is your digital well-being pretty similar and in the security the face lock unlock i have noticed that it is working much faster than before so if i try to set it up and show you i have noticed the speed of unlocking has increased so right now i'm using my fingerprint and it's working fine as usual but if i show you the face unlock it unlocks much faster the animation of unlocking has improved a lot so that's a good you can see the animation on the front camera so that was face unlock so that's an improvement in this android 11 update you can see the august security september security patch and for august is the google play system update and you also get things sealed i don't know how much helpful it is and the adaptive performance is changed to now just performance so it's much easier to know what it does it helps to open up apps faster you get this moto gestures in here you also get the power menu option so there's a new power menu you can can control your device that connected to your wi-fi from here so you need to have google home app installed on your phone otherwise this will not work so it will oh if you have the app you can add devices from here also you can edit what is going to appear when you long press you can enable or disable the tile shortcut so that was also a big change of Android 11, the power menu. In the developer settings, the changes that I've noticed are related to some uh, side loadings. So like uh, in the DSU package, you can I think it's used for GSI package. I have not tried it. You have some new Bluetooth related feature as well. Um, I've yet to try that you can see the HD audio option or the LDAC play option so I have not yet connected to any Bluetooth so maybe it can help in some increasing the quality of sound or something also the device cutout it has improved Previously, if you want to hide, you would see the camera circle still there, even though it was at hardware. So now it's gone, so it's much better now. So that's an improvement. So other than that, there is not much changes there. It is just a software update, so you get Android 11. And this TR camera is working pretty fine. It was working in Android 10 as well. And it's very compatible with Android 11. So if you want a G cam, go for Tiger G cam, TR camera. All the three lenses are working. And uh, in the Moto camera, I don't know. I don't remember actually if it was in the Android 10, but there's a spot color mode if I'll show you. So you can spot color was there in picture but now you can also click videos in spot color mode so yes that's pretty cool you can record videos of a single color and desaturate the rest i'm just trying to remember what's new so i'm pretty happy with the update actually um so i did side load it can see the wallpaper and if you go to the moto app you will see some new changes the ui is similar nothing has changed there uh, in the personalized section i've noticed a few more colors than before so if you go to the edit icon 
the f there are no more fonts but i th think there are a lot more colors than we've before yeah other than that it's pretty similar in wallpapers you have the stylized i think it the update come came in the android 10 only so you can have this artistic filter for your wallpapers so if you like you can do that it, it doesn't look half bad so that was stylized and you already have the interactive wallpapers so that wasn't in the android 10 this one has even more animation okay moving on gestures are pretty much same in display we have some new ambient clock so if you go to settings you have this clock option so you have three clocks to choose from which you want to appear this is the default one that we see every time but now you can add two more same like the widget we have the home screen widget for this clock but now you can also add it on your ambient display and lastly this analog one so yeah pretty cool add-on you can also add the animated background and if you go to customize you can enable the weather options weather alerts in the game time if you go to audio effects only the graphics has changed otherwise it's the same you have your usual equalizer the normal equalizer settings that we had previously only some animation has changed In the game time these options have not changed but the interface has changed if I show you I've just added but now you have this screen recording options as well so now the screen recorder is built in Android 11 so we do no longer need an external screen recording app so you can just go to your quick setting and allow you have these options for a front camera and if you go to mic you can record external audio or internal audio and also draw some stuff so everything that you can that you need for your screen record is there so no longer need of any third party app it was much awaited feature so finally in android 11 we get to see it so I've added a calculator uh, so you can add apps to your game time so you can easily record uh, like screen record with this shortcut control volume and block calls that's that interface has changed and is much better and also you have this uh, whenever you're playing an audio music you can choose which source you want the audio to be coming out and also if you have like two pl audio playing two media so you can choose between them if you you can swipe between those two players so it's easier for you to manage your streaming so that's also a new feature added in android 11 so i think that was it for all the new thing that I've noticed you also have some launcher changes but that's not a big change and uh, yeah I think that was it for this video thank you for watching